Here's a did you know on one of the goats of stand-up, TV, and film, Martin Lawrence. Don't, don't play with it, don't be the size. Did you know Martin Lawrence came from a large military family? His father worked as a police officer as well. Growing up in Maryland, he discovered his love for making people laugh at a very young age. He was the class clown and kids used to circle around him while he told jokes. So he was a little comedian at a very, very young age. Did you know during his teen years, Martin excelled at boxing? While attending Eleanor Roosevelt High School, he became Mid-Atlantic Golden Gloves boxing contender. In his early 20s, he began his career by doing comedy shows in Washington, D.C. area and supported himself through odd jobs. Eventually, he ended up moving to New York City and found his way in legendary improved theater. In 1990, Martin Lawrence was in the iconic movie House Party. Oh, and did you know DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince Will Smith were originally supposed to be starred in House Party? Hmm. In 1992, Martin Lawrence hosts Def Comedy Jam for about a year. Also in 1992, the iconic show Martin came out. Martin was the highest rated show on the network at the time, starring Martin Lawrence, Tisha Campbell, Thomas, Carl, Tashina, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, and Garrett Morris. His show was so lit, he had guests like Biggie and Richard Pryor, which was a dream come true to him because Richard Pryor was the GOAT and he looked up to him while coming up. With a great outcome coming with the show, Martin found his power, so he started to bring his fellow comedians along with him. The ones that didn't get a chance with the, with the big people, so he brought them on his show so they could get a spotlight and get a chance. In an interview, Martin was asked what was his favorite character he played on Martin. He said Shanene Jenkins, of course, because she was a combination of his sisters and nieces. And because Shanene didn't take shh from anybody. I don't know if his nieces and sisters took that as a compliment because child, the show was so good. It had aired for five seasons. The sexual harassment allegations Letitia Campbell filed on Martin Lawrence led to the show being canceled. Letitia accused Martin of unwanted sexual advantages and filed a lawsuit on Martin for sexual harassment. Did you know Carl had beef with Martin too on the show? He claimed that Martin used to pick on him a lot. Did you know Mr. Morris was fired from the show in its early seasons? The reason is still unknown. Going back to 1994, did you know Martin was banned from SNL after he did a monologue about feminine hygiene? In 1996, Martin Lawrence did an interview and was basically putting Hollywood on blast and the government. Not too long after the interview, Martin Lawrence was running up and down the street naked. And it is always the ones they call crazy. We got to put our heads together to do projects to give the consumer people what they want and stop letting the government tell us what to give them. Give them laughs. Give them entertainment. Because that's what your dollar pays for. Yeah. People, we don't speak to each other. And we are watching. We're pulling guns. We're taking each other. And this world ain't supposed to be like this. This is all wrong. What I'm saying is the powers that be know that you can make it all right for people in America. You can, you don't, we don't have to have all these homeless shelters. Why? Because you can stop building bombs and build apartment complexes and places for people to live. You know, I, I believe me, I like the money that we get to make from entertainers, but then how can you argue about teachers not get paid their money? So I think the teachers are the closest people to your kids. So they can teach them and educate. Kids only know what you nurture into them as a child. So I'm telling all the neighborhood kids that anybody ever tell you you can't do it, boy, if you believe in your God, but most importantly, keep the faith, because when everybody else yes. will abandon you, God ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we all know what happened to him after that interview. He was literally running down the street saying they're trying to get him and telling people they need to fight the establishment. 
Did you know in 1999, while making the movie Blue Street, Dave Chappelle said Martin suffered through a stroke? Do y'all remember back in 96 when Martin Lawrence allegedly had this nervous breakdown and he was in the middle of the street with no clothes on, waving a pistol, screaming, fight the establishment? All the major news outlets during this time were reporting it like the headlines were comedian Martin Lawrence runs into the street, yells at cars. Like literally that was the headlines for like all the major news outlets that he was yelling at cars with a gun in hand. This article, this is the LA Times. This one actually says that the gun was in his pocket. But from my recollection, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. They were saying that he was waving the gun in the air. Now, the very interesting thing about this is that they were reporting it as a nervous breakdown, but then Hollywood began to mock him. You got the rape from me, Charlie. She sell, I see so. Bang! Ooh, I'm a cop. Ow! What? Damn, get up! Now, during this time, very few people, if any, came to his defense except for Dave Chappelle, and he said this. You know, when we did Blue Streak, we were promoting it, and Martin had a stroke. He almost died. And then after that, I saw him, and I was like, oh my God, Martin, are you okay? And he said, I got the best sleep I ever got in my life. That's how tough he is. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take clothes off on TRL? If a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person. So they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Three years after this, he was hospitalized and in a coma for three days. Less than a year later, Big Mama House is in the theater near you. Since then, Martin has been having health problems. In 2019, Martin said that he suffered through bipolar disorder and he takes medication for it. And to me, that explains with all his recent bad boy interviews in the past year ones with his slow speech and like not acting himself. I think the medication from the bipolar probably speaks for that situation. In an interview, Martin was asked, what was his favorite film he had ever made? He had answered Blue Streak and National Security because he could play the characters how he wanted to play them. And plus, he got paid pretty good. At the age of 59, Martin Lawrence is still out here making movies with health conditions and all. He's the father of three daughters who are all grown now. And he's a grandfather. Let's give this iconic man the flowers that he deserves. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Don't, don't play with it, don't be this size Still not understand